And then also, not only that, you're involved with the Church of, Church of Bacon because of a recent thing that happened. Yeah, Wells Fargo, uh, when John Whiteside went in to get something notarized, well, refused to notice. Well, tell me who the Church of Bacon is. The United Church of Bacon um, is uh, it's a group of non-religious people um, who, uh, who are joining together to challenge the various ways religion gets special privileges in our society. That's one of the, the reasons that it exists. Uh, and it's a genuine church. Uh, as of yet, they've never taken donations. They haven't asked for a tax exemption or any of that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's the only church I've ever been proud to belong to. It's like the, the Unitarians take to the extreme. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like the Woody Allen. Yeah, now, now, something happened with this in Vegas, actually, down, yeah. down the road, yeah. with, uh, with the, uh, the, a local person here who did uh, legal uh, notarization, yeah. notary stuff. Yeah, he went in to get some notarization done on some church paperwork uh, so that he could ordain someone to marry people. Um, now, this has been going on already, so it's not like... Oh, no, it's been going on for a long yeah, time. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. first person. Yeah, uh, if, if you want to join the Church of Bacon, there's no cost. You just say you want to join the Church of Bacon, and you can be ordained um, to uh, to perform uh, marriage ceremonies um, and uh, join men, men, women, women, or men and women if you want to be born. And um, and so he went in to get this done, and they refused to notarize it. And he recognized that um, it was not. It, it was simply about the fact that this was not a conventional church. And, that and that's to, discrimination on its face. And then it led to you doing something here in Vegas. We picketed and uh, protested the uh, Wells Fargo organization there. You can see there's Heather looking gorgeous and uh, David Silverman looking gorgeous. <laughs> and, um, uh, and we, yeah, we, we just stood up to this, uh, this discrimination. A lot of people uh, in the, uh, of the libertarian bent called me and said, what are you doing? Don't you think that, because the libertarians think that corporations and companies and individuals who run these places should have the uh, ability, the choice to discriminate if they do. Yeah, we called that, you know, we had that same problem back in the 50s, I think, it was called the civil rights movement and the people said the same thing. Yeah, well there's, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't make it that simple in my mind. I just don't see it as that black and white. Um, you go back to Selma, there was a systemic problem. Yeah. Um, Wells Fargo and people that do this sort of thing is not really a systemic problem. We can go somewhere else to get this done. I will tell you why I got involved in this. Um, uh, not necessarily because I think that, um, that everybody should be giving service to everybody when they ask. I don't necessarily buy necessarily into that. I got into it because there are laws in place that are supposed to protect religions from this kind of discrimination. Whether you agree that we need these laws or not doesn't matter. That law is in place. That's my thinking on it. And it wasn't being applied equally to a non-Christian or a non-ordained uh, version of religion because they weren't doing anything to protect the United Church of Bacon. This law was only uh, it seemed like this law was only there to protect Jews, Christians, Muslims, uh, uh, you know, those religions that are accepted. And uh, that's why I got involved, because that is true inequality right there.